everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena and for today's video we are picking up where we left off. In my previous video I had swatched out the Blick Studio brush markers and the assortment of Copic markers I had received. Now we're gonna use them on an actual drawing and see how well they work together. So let's get started. Overall, both sets of alcohol-based markers worked beautifully together. The light grays and especially that frost blue with the Copic markers were great for shading the white body of the unicorn. Those brush tips are a dream to use, although I think my frost blue was beginning to dry out a bit. As I stated in the first video, link in the description below, these Copic sketch markers were pre-owned. The Blick Studio brush markers were just as lovely, but for other reasons. Those bold and bright colors, especially the blues. I've noticed that I gravitate toward blue brush markers, or any alcohol-based marker for that matter. I just love the intense and vibrant color. I'm also quite a sucker for pink, but not for this particular handsome stallion. The pink tips in the mane seemed like they'd be a good idea at the time, but I decided that I didn't really care for them all that much. Thankfully, the pink was easily covered up by the blue and became kind of a purple, which I think looked a lot better. As for the horn, I wasn't sure what direction to go at first. Then I figured that I already had the blue down, so I went with green. Seattle Seahawks colors. Well, I'm not exactly a sports fan. My family loves the Seahawks. So here's a unicorn with green and blue. I am from Washington, after all. This is my contribution to the Seattle Seahawks. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, go to any Walmart, Target, Fred Meyer, or other big main chain store. You'll see Seahawks stuff everywhere here. It's crazy. Even gas station convenience stores around here. You've got Seahawks stuff everywhere. It, I mean, it's... <laughs> People are nuts about their Seahawks around here, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Markers and this unicorn. I really love this particular unicorn line art. I've also been thinking about looking into Patreon or Subscribestar and offering exclusive coloring pages depending on the tiers or however the, the payment system is measured. Any thoughts on that? I'm very curious, would any of you be interested in coloring pages from me? Post below. As always, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say.
Alrighty, here we are. Finished illustration. I have to say, the Blix Studio and the Copics. I like them both. I really do. These were, these were all great. These were fun to use. I, I mean, th these are these are amazing. I have used the Blick. Oh, what were they? They were called the Blick Illustrator. That's right, the Blick Illustrator markers. And the the Studio Brush markers. They are just as delightful. I I recommend these. I mean, I like them just as much as the Ohuhu markers. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know how much I love the Ohuhu markers as well. Absolutely, just, I, I, 10 out of 10, recommend. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to help support the channel, Please consider visiting my Redbubble and picking up some cool merch. Or, for other ways to help, you could also visit my PayPal link in the description below. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!